and we're back and I've started the game. Uh, of course, uh, the age difference could cause a bit of a scandal. <laughs> oh, that's fine. She is such a little morsel. Uh, I don't care. So we're going to wait for the game to figure out a few things. We're going to speed it up a, a tiny bit. We don't need to speed it up all that much. So there is our first patrol hall and he doesn't want to have an alliance with us. All good. We don't care. All right, there's the first one joining our court and there's a whole bunch coming after. And I always forget to read this because sometimes they say um, they won't. Uh, okay, he, he, he doesn't feel like giving us that girl. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe we can give him one of the ones that we just invited. Oh, let's give him this one. The daughter of the Doge of Amalfi. That's fine. Okay. Say I put up a fight. Maybe we become brave. We become brave. Very good. Yes, a safe peasant is a productive peasant. Always side with the peasants. I think that was a cannot. I accept. I accept. I think most of them accepted. 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 These are less than I think we got. Okay, he accepts his our suggestion. Very good. Very good. Okay, he is improving relationships at home. Good stuff. He accepts. Should we have an alliance? Yes. The two merchant republics allied at last. It's It doesn't hurt to prepare yourself a little bit. We're not going to upgrade this all that much. I don't think because we might just lose this. So uh, we don't want to enrich our enemies. All right. So our first chance to get a, a lover. She is greedy. A fortune builder. She has a high learning, so she might like love poetry. I do go for confess my love usually, but let's go with the love poetry with this one. Very good. That was a good one. And uh, she and I, we fall in love. So this is our first lover. Good stuff. So let's check if they are married by now. Nope. Maybe their kids are married. No. Your heir married? Is anyone going to marry here? Okay. You don't want to? That's fine. I'll build myself an army of lovers. What I could do, of course, in lieu of... Uh, again, I can just check their courts out and figure that they have almost nobody in their court. They have a little Lavinia. So let us seduce little Lavinia. Might become... So, as you can tell, they all have built their first trade post. So, if we look over here, there's one. There's one from Ragusa. Alright, so what do we do with her? I think we're going to confess our love with her. Okay, she didn't go for that one, but we'll just keep up on it. Now, this trade post view still doesn't do all that much because no trade post is built as of yet. But as you can tell, everywhere where this port little thing here goes into one of those areas, it, it counts towards this. So we have a bunch of Venice one in the Gulf of Venice. But we also have a bunch of Ragusa one. I think we have four Venice and three Ragusa. And whoever has the most controls it, basically, which increases a bunch of... Okay, we. what did we do? Confess our love already? I think so. Let's make a lewd suggestion with that one. Very good. That was the way to her heart. So we have gotten her as our lovely little lover. So let us try and kill this man. And see who is going to join us. So our Chancellor is in. Our son is in. 
Our lovers are in. Eugenia is in. I wonder. Uh, let's go by plot power. Ressa is in. Baron is in. Renata is in. Lavinia is in as well. Very good. See, that's that's what you get. If you have a whole bunch of lovers, you're going to just have a whole bunch of people who are very willing to do whatever it is you want to do. Our daughter-in-law, Felicia, is our lover already. So let's seduce this one here now. Maria, she's on our list anyway. And watch our plot power explode a little bit. Everyone is, of course, joining, as they should. <laughs> Already over 100%. Of course, you might want to consider going slow with all that. I, I don't go slow with these things. You go crazy with those things. I'm gonna even auto-invite, so there's going to be even more people involved. Lucrecia, Felicia. But that's how we build our army. Ask her to meet us by the stream. Okay, she has some sort of sickness, but she's lustful, so let's make a lewd suggestion and hope for the best with that one. Very good. Next lover. So that's Maria done, I think. Yes, that was Maria. Let's see, we have Felicia as well, so we can turn her off as a special interest character. Let's get her. He's very interesting looking. Is there another lover here that I didn't notice? No? Very good. Again, we're not going to worry about this one because we're working on it. And even if we lose right now, that's that's not a problem. You can also tell that there's a lot of blind people because I think this is kind of what happens. They, they imprison each other and then they blind each other and it's just it's, it's a whole mess. I'm a little bit confused why none of these have married yet. Well, that, what can you do? Alright, so our Lavinia, who is husband to uh, the wife to our rival, um, well, she's bearing him a child and he thinks it's his. <laughs> oh, I think. Is he his heir? Yes, he is his heir. Good stuff. So, what is she? Ah, let's confess our love with that one. No, she has refused our seduction. Okay, that happens. That happens. That's okay. So she's no longer of import. And she must leave the court. Because you don't want anyone in your court who has refused your seduction. As not going to like you. That's just one more person who might betray you in turn. If you have a large court, that's a danger to you. So either everyone in your cart is your lover, or they leave. Oh no, one of our lovers died of consumption. And and she, oh, she just fell pre- oh no. Oh no, they, they start dying left and right. Uh, okay, she she is unimpressed, but it's okay, we'll, we'll get it. Ah, uh, Lucretia. Oh god, they're all dying. No. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get another wife going here. Or one of our heirs. <laughs> That's not great. Okay, what do we do with her? Confess our love. She's a diplomatic one. She might like it. Love. Uh, so that is her. We can take her off here. Let's seduce her now. We've lost the commander, of course. And we'll put in someone else. We'll put in him, the Archbishop, because if his opinion is higher of us than it is of the Pope, he will pay tax to us instead of the Pope. And that is always what we want. Okay, so what do we do with her? Brave. Oh, she's lustful. Let's go for a lewd suggestion. Oh, okay. She doesn't want it, but she's also on death doorstep let's comfort our pregnant lover who is 
The wife of our rival. <laughs> ah, this is good stuff. Okay, as you can see, these uh, just keep going up. Let's confess our love. Maybe it works. Very good. Another one to let our love grow with. She looks very stern, doesn't she? I like her hair. Geneva. Let's get you and hope that you survive until we're done. All right, let's approve our plan to poison him with wine. And our trade post has been built. Now we could upgrade it if we had the money. And I'm a little bit confused where all our money is going. I thought we had a bit more. But I was wrong. Okay, if, if you get this option here, we're always going to ask her to meet in our room, lady, because that's usually the one that really works. She does have consumption, so we might, you know, get it ourselves from them, but that's okay. Okay. A message arrives that this duke intends to travel through our areas. Okay. Let's tell him we want some compensation if he wants to go through our stuff here. And he agrees. Giving us 50... Gold, lovely. And another one. You should definitely give us monetary compensation. Okay, very good. So, um, chasing skirts can be dangerous business. Jealous husbands, watchful parents, eavesdropping maids, little bastards. By the Blessed Virgin, it's wonderful. It's a wonder I'm still alive. People do don't do start disliking you. Okay. So we have learned a thing or two about intrigue, becoming a court tomcat. And that gives us plus one intrigue, but more importantly, plus 10 sex appeal. And 10 sex appeal translates pretty much directly. Oh, okay. Our target died, but they know we did it. Sex appeal pretty much translates directly into how people view you and they like you more for it. So the higher sex appeal is just a flat opinion modifier, positively influencing how people want to interact with you. We have some righteous imprisonment here. Let's seduce her. Our own son's wife. Because she's plotting against us. It's fine. Okay, so what we've accomplished is we killed him. Or rather, his father. Perfectly fine. Next up, this guy. Who still hasn't taken a wife. But we have his son's daughter on our side. So let's see who we can get on our side for things now another lover of ours died a shame okay so we have gotten a girl who we could legitimize pff, or not uh we're going to legitimize her because he's going to hate us even more than he already does because he's now a cuckold <laughs> legitimize the girl good little daughter So she's not at our court. So we can't really do all that much with her, but that's fine. We'll just uh, promise her to someone. Doesn't matter to me. Let's take someone who actually is going to be still alive once she becomes of age. Karl, the Prince of Bavaria. Good stuff. Do that. Meet in our room, milady. And we got another lover. So this one who is plotting something. What are you plotting anyway? I don't know. I just know that you're doing something. Let's visit our lover. She is taken with us. Sidonia is the last one that we invited. That we have not yet seduced, I believe. But we're going to check through our court later, once we're done with our great seduction. I don't know what she does. She's backing our plot, and I could tell her to stop it. I want to stop it. I want her to keep going. We could appoint a successor. We could throw one of our kids out here. Okay, let her meet us by the stream with her pneumonia. 
And confess our love. Very good. I think that's the last one. But we'll make sure. Now we have seduced, I think, everyone. Let's check. She's our lover. You can kind of tell by this very faint purple glow, but it doesn't always show up in here. So you have to hover and it's going to tell you if they're your lover. So Renata is not our lover yet, but that's the last one. Everyone else in our court is either on our council or our lover. Man. It's good to be the Doge. And we have another grandson. Oh, good stuff. Very good. Very good indeed. Born to our lover, but he's a trueborn son. So we are going to go with Thrift. Because that might lead to shrewd, cynical, patient, greedy, paranoid. And these are very, very good. All of these. All of these are very, very good for what we are. So Thrift is what we go for. Giving us paranoid. I mean, paranoid is the thing. If you want to survive plots, just become paranoid. That's how you do it. All right. So this is a bastard son. And we will definitely legitimize him. Our little lop. And again, thrift is where it's at. Let's marry him off to... I don't know. Someone. Again, I don't think it does matter all that much. We'll just take the Lombard girl here all right marrying a woman as a noble she will require a pri a bride price of a hundred so I think someone has to pay her I don't know if it has to be me or him no idea we'll just do that <laughs> okay uh da -da 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 Right, uh, she is... Yeah, we're going to go with love. If they're nothing really special, then love is often just the right way to go. Oh, she was never a special interest target. So let's check through here. Look at that. He has a wife to be seduced now. Very good. There are a few wives now. That's what we want. Of course... We are not the only one scheming here. We're not the only one trying to do things. It's also the other ones doing the same thing. So we need to be very, very, very careful. And I don't think we actually want him to increase our plot power. Instead, we want him to discover plots. That's more important to us. With our lovers in force... I mean, look at that. Look at everyone being very, very helpful. And since all the great families are in our court always... It's fine. We don't have to deal with a vassal being far off, uh, having to find friends in their court. No, 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 no. They're all in our court. All the balls are in our court. We are the puppet master. And I'm going to eat my word soon when we lose, inevitably, but... Uh, I made sure to attend a minor event in Venezia in the hopes of seducing Lydia. This uh, she reminds unimpressed. That's that's fine. She likes us well. If you see, we are seducer, sex appeal plus thirty, seduction focus plus ten, court tomcat plus ten. We are completely crazy. Ooh, we have inherited the barony of Palestrina from Baron blah 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 from Palestrina. So uh, this one is now ours. I do believe we lose this as well. So it doesn't really matter if we put in someone to take care of it for us or if we just keep it directly. If we keep it directly, we take all the earnings and all the men. So we'll keep it directly. That's that's just fine. We, again, we're going to lose it to whoever is going to inherit unless it is uh, our own guy. That was our spy master. That's a shame. There are no good spy masters out there. So we want our first filter. And these filters I've set a long time ago. Um, my first filter is uh, men. Not in prison. Married doesn't matter. No rulers in diplomatic range. Yes, they want to join the court. Yes, um, you could go for uh, my religion group and my culture group, which does help, but very much limits who it might be who can come to your court. So. It doesn't really matter with the culture. My religion group is a good idea to have. But again, it limits the results a little bit. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to invite us someone who's very good with uh, spying around and he's also kind of young still. Uh, and we make him our spy master because we will be damned if we put this guy in there. So he should now show up as an option here. Very good stuff. Let's meet us by the stream and you are learned. You are a mystic and a renowned physician. You're really good. Wow. You're fantastic. Uh, let's quote some low love poetry at her, which sometimes work with a lot of learning. Blah, blah, blah. Blot is revealed. I don't care. Very good. It worked with her as well. So we can move on. Ah, there we go. So after we have uh, done a bunch of exploitationing in our seductionings, we get two options. We can become a hedonist. Uh, which is kind of fine, but we want the master seducer trait because that unlocks a new option in those seduction attempts. Uh, plus it gives attraction opinion plus 50, which is just I'm missing the words is what I'm missing here. So what we're going to go ahead and we'll become a master seducer. It's just so, so good. So good. Okay, we got this little Elena. We're going to seduce now. <laughs> and you're going to see in a moment. So even if we look at him, he doesn't care. Attraction opinion doesn't really work. Unless he's a homosexual, then it might work. And there she is. There she is. The master seducer trait giving us this... Uh, an unfailing trick of seduction. Brushing our lips against her ear. Breathing out softly. Supposedly always works. And so it does this time as well. Another girl to legitimize. There we go. Alright, let's check through the rest of these people here. We got your wife. We got your wife. You don't have one. You don't have one. Do we have his wife? No. How come? This must change. Of course, of course. So we could wait, uh, or we could pay off a few people. We're not going to pay off. We're just going to increase our ever-growing amount of lovers. Very good. Uh, I cannot believe it. Dearest Sidonia, my sweet lady, you are gone from this world and I am left behind alone and not heartbroken. I would never hold you in my arms again. I do not know what to do with these unbearable feelings. Uh, we will so seek solace at her grave. Which might give us a lover's memento. Word is going around that since the epidemic came to Venezia, we have seen an increase in cats. Is this the Black Death? No. It's a consumption. Don't you dare tell me the Black Death is... Oh, that, that would be crazy. That's not allowed. <laughs> it's not there. Okay, uh, yeah, let's let's gather the cats for examination. There we go, there we go, good stuff. Thanks to God's great mercy, there were no other visitors at Sidonia's grave when I arrived. I spent several hours, mere yards from her cold body, contemplating the frailty of life and love. When I returned to my chambers, as if by a sign sent from Sidonia, I found her locket charm on the floor. So we get a lover's memento, which is fantastic because it lasts... It lasts the rest of our life and just gives us half a health. For those who don't know how health works in this game, there's no way to look up your health, ever. But every character has a base health of 5. Um, the older you get, the lower it might be. I'm not sure if it actually goes down with life, but um, you have modifiers that might add to it or remove from it. So the lower you go, the more likely you are to die. You can have a minus one life and not die for many years. It's possible. It just increases your chance of surviving or dying. So having extra life is just... Health is just a good, good, good idea. Right. How about some meat in our room, lady? And that's the next little lover in our court. 
Agostino reports that apart from showing disapproval of their capture, <laughs> it's so cute, most of the cats seem calm and healthy. Only a few show symptoms of illness. It's unlikely that cats are the cause. Good, let, let them go. They are not the cause of this. Right, let's check through here again. Just make sure there are no wives we haven't, we haven't seen yet. This guy doesn't have a wife. Our son Leon is sick. Quickly. Okay. People are trying to kill us now. Uh, after being skillfully treated by court physician Cardinal Agostini, my son is feeling nervous. Yeah. Uh, since we are gregarious, we can go ahead and um, praise him publicly, which also gives us a 20% chance of us becoming close friends, which would be nice. So let's go do that. Did we become good friends? No. No, we did not. Okay. Um, so someone is trying to kill us. Uh, I have a feeling it might be this guy. Let's check. Known plots. Yeah. He wants to kill us, the lewd. But we earlier figured something good out. I didn't know before. How much is our... Um, this guy. In prison is 43%, but what we can do is we can take him and suppress revolts, increasing our uh, imprisonment chance as well. Uh, we might have to unpause real quick, and now it's at 63%. So let's imprison him. And he is locked away. I'm not sure how that works in respect. I doubt it's good for him. All right. Uh, why do you not accept our offer? Another girl died. Do we need to break this betrothal here? I have so many people dying. Consumption is really wreaking havoc. Did they increase that? Usually you don't have that many people dying due to consumption. That's black death levels of death we are having here. Wow. I'm impressed. We need a new commander. Let's have it be this guy. And a new state inquisitor. This guy. I think we need to break the patrol ball. Because that guy is not taking it. Lover, 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 lover. Not a lover. Why not? Why ever not? <laughs> I think we should change that. Our money isn't really moving. It feels like. Okay, we can upgrade our trade post. Now, this is a little bit weird. Ah, people are complaining about cats being the cause of it, but we've investigated it and also we have a high diplomacy skill so we can just convince them, right? So something uh, that's a bit weird about trade value is, um, well, okay. <laughs> it's a bit strange how that works, is you have trade value in the trade zone and the trade value implicitly influences how much income you get from a tax so you can either either go directly for tax income or increase the trade value i'm not sure what is better we're going to go for 10 trade value for 143 gold on this and we're going to see what it does meet us by the stream girl because we are a master seducer and it will just work there we go so right now we earn a taxation of uh, 1062. Of course she's a legitimate girl. Um, so if it goes up by one, I think 10 trade value and one tax income is similar, but I don't think that's how it works. I, I read up on it before, but it's very convoluted. I'm not entirely sure how it works. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. It, you can see up there trade zone bonus something. Okay, people are no longer talking about cats being the cause of any of this. That's a bit weird. We'll figure it out. So 10, 6, 2 is what it is right now. Did you lose another one? 
Really? Ah, yeah, we're going to find you another one. Sick. Quite a few more. Oh, she's already here somewhere. Can't invite her. Can only seduce her. I'll do so. She might have been the wife of... Uh, of the guy we invited to become our spy master. Which wouldn't be ideal. Okay, she has joined us so she can... Ah. Right. Um, hmm. It doesn't... Ah, marry whoever you want, I don't care. Another one is pregnant. On the Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I don't even know if you can do that as a merchant republic. There she is. Come on. Marry him. This time we're not going to seduce her. See, they don't like it. You legitimize your bastards. They, they're just going to hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Rift... Rift. Oh, and Mary. Uh, this creation kid there. You go and marry. Ugh, don't be so upset. You go and marry the Prince of Bavaria. Didn't I tell you to do that? And you go and marry. I don't know this this Lombard boy. All okay. Okay, so the merchant port was built. We were at 1062. And it went up to 1088. So 0.2 is what that contributed, potentially. Uh, so the plus tax income would have been much better. But this affects all the trade posts. So. Yeah. Wouldn't have been too bad. So, as you can see, uh, there are now trade areas that have established themselves, pretty much. Up here, it's kind of unclear. It's not a trade area that, that belongs to anyone because there's so much rivalry going on. So, we'll have to build more as we unlock more trade posts that we are allowed to build. And we're not even earning the most from our trade post. Ah, comparatively, anyway. And children have... No respect whatsoever, so that's that's always good. So these are the ones you want to be up against. How's this coming along? Not great. Come on, people. Why do I have to pay my spy master to support my plot? And how much did I just give him? I didn't read that. I think that was a whole lot of money. Um. Yeah, we had... A feisty young scullery maid in our eyes, so yeah, let's add another one. Ships from the Republic have traveled far and wide in their relentless pursuit of trading opportunities, and as a result, the accuracy of our sailors' nautical charts have been improved. Coastal waters are previously seen as treacherous, can now be navigated in relative safety. Which is nice, so we get a hundred gold basically because. So let's write a book, because uh, I would like to do um, on the intricacies of relationship, which we have a high diplomacy and high intrigue, so that should be a good book at the end. Oh no, our dearly beloved prisoner died in our prison. What a shame. So we have only two people to contend with still, and we're trying to very much kill one of them. Have you taken a wife by now? Oh, the Pope loves us. He loves us dearly. And relationships at home are being improved as well. Very good. So I think Amalfi is winning the trade wars right now. Oh no, we have also contracted consumption. As it is, kind of retreating. Oh no, the Gulf of Venice is already taken, but it's not ours. 
as you can see, it has this dirty brown. It's not ours. And our kids are getting th sick. Everyone is getting sick. Yes, let's praise him. Maybe we become friends eventually. I doubt it. But we'll keep trying. And chest pains. Come on, treat us. Ah, very good. Plus two health. Stuff. How much money did I give this man? Oh, no. He doesn't know that one of these is mine. Shame. And another one bit the dust, but he was followed by this guy. Not even a strong vassal anymore. Do you have a wife? One who's alive? No. But I had all the ones that he did have. Okay, now we have consumption. Let's start reading a book. And we are brave, so we could ask him to do something hard but we're going to go with as long as he knows what he's doing which is the safest option yielding the best results the so plus two health him taking care of us very good restoring us to basically normal and we become a aspiring poet giving us plus one diplomacy all very good all very nice our boys here still growing up but not becoming thrifty Bad thing. Is she pregnant? If she's not getting pregnant, I'm gonna get her pregnant. If you're not doing it, boy, I'm gonna do it for you. So I don't know exactly how we can deal with enemy trade posts, honestly. I know there are, like, we, we can do embargoes, something like that. Need another room, lady. Very good. Our. Son's wife is now our lover as well. Fame and fortune invades. We, we, we become a poet. Diplomacy. <gasps> we don't have plots. But there is a plot to be had. This man needs to die. And of course we demand monetary compensation for them passing through our waters and stuff. How dare they. And all our little lovers willing to jump at the option to help us here pirate is not giving us any money anyway we we have consumption so we might consider actually you know doing a little bit more about making him the next doge so we could add a little bit to the campaign fund but i think i'd rather upgrade our trade post which is now up to 1360 instead of 1060 i don't understand this fluctuates a lot. It, it's it's really weird. I think there are a lot of um, modifiers that influence what that is. But Amalfi is doing it better. See how they have spread out and have all these different trade zones already under their control because they're the only ones building there. And meanwhile, Ragusa and I, we're just kind of killing each other over this. All right, so again, people know that we killed this guy, but eh, what does it matter? Wait, didn't he die? Uh, who did I just kill? Ah, we can imprison this man. And so shall we. <laughs> okay, he ran away. Running to the court. Of Stephanus removing himself from this place so he is now out here and we're trying to kill him I believe why I, I would like rather I would rather like to kill this man yes the other one just fled there's nobody to kill so we can do like I don't know Blockades. I really don't know. We could just probably take over the provinces and burn them down. 
But for that we would have to do war stuff. Which is a bit icky. So let's build our uh, merchant enclave, giving us plus one tax income flat out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.